Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and configure WSL2 for your Windows 10 Insider build. So if you don't know, Microsoft just released a new build for Windows 10 that includes the first release of the Windows subsystem for Linux second edition. And we are going to go through the prerequisites and see how to run a distribution in this new version. So firstly, of course, you need to have the latest build at this time of Windows 10. In my case, it's 1.8.9.1.7. So make sure that you have this one installed. And if you don't know what this means, then for sure you don't have it because you have to be an insider to get this build. After that, make sure that you install a Hyper-V using the command that I put in, the, in this slide. And of course a reboot is required. And to use WSL2 you need to have WSL installed. And you need to get at least one distribution so you can test on it. You can find uh, instructions to do this in the video that I put on the screen. And you have also the links in this slide for the video and also for the code on GitHub. Okay, so let's get straight to work. I have already all the prerequisites met. As you can see, I have the latest build. And I downloaded the Ubuntu 18.04 distribution and placed it in C distros. I also installed the distribution so it's all ready to go. Now first of all, you will need to get a list of all your uh, Linux distributions so you know which one you can use. You can do this with the following command. And I have only one and it's using version 1. Ok, let's change the version. If you met all the prerequisites to install the second version, it's very easy because it's already installed. We just need to change this distribution from version 1 to version 2 with a simple command. WSL set version. Make sure you place the exact name of the distribution and then put a 2 after it. And this will take a while to do. Ok, so after a couple of minutes you should see this screen, which means that the distribution has been converted and we can check with the list command again. Yeah, so it's version 2. Great. Now let's run it. Since I'm directly in the distro uh, folder, I can run the exe. And we are in. Now, what does actually version 2 mean? In the past, in version 1, the distribution would run directly on Windows and if uh, I would, let's say, want to access a file or do something, that call would, would be translated down to the Windows operating system and then uh, uh, Windows would open the file and send that, uh, that reference back to Linux. Now with V2, the distro runs in a virtual machine, a specialized virtual machine that is highly optimized, and it runs with a real Linux kernel, a full-blown Linux kernel. So basically this means that you would get a higher degree of compatibility with a lot of applications. One other cool thing with this new version is that they improved a uh, file uh, access speed. So if you do an update of a lot of modules, it would be much quicker. And you can access also the file system from Windows using a file share. If you are in a specific folder in WSL and type explorer.exe and dot, you will get your current folder in Explorer. And it's accessed via a file share. So let's make, for example, a file.
I named it test.txt and you can see it here and let's see if we can also read it. This is a test, cool. But let's see what this compatibility actually means. And I want to try to install Docker, which did not work in WSL1. Now let's see if it works. First, let's update uh, all the modules. Okay, so now it's updating everything. Cool. Now let's install Docker. Let's start the service. Cool. And let's check now the version and also try to run a container. And of course we need sudo for this. And we need to type it correctly. And it worked. Cool. So Docker really works in WSL in a virtual machine on Windows. That's Inception. If you want to get more information, I have two links in the presentation, in the slides. One is for Microsoft Docs, which contains some info about WSL. And the other one is for a blog post that they put about this new feature and what it brings to the table in this moment. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.